I've got a dollar store diorama holiday haul coming up after this. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. Okay, so I have another video full of uh, DIY ideas for your one six scale dioramas from things you can get at the dollar store mostly i'm pretty sure most of this is from the dior the dollarama in canada but all dollar stores have great stuff i do have a few things like some this is from the dollar tree this isn't part of the haul though it's just something that's sitting around here uh, a lot of stuff to go through. I also have a whole other diorama haul box that's not Christmas themed, but probably some of the stuff that's in there I would want to use for rooms that I would make for Christmas. I also have two other Christmas trees, but you know how Christmas decorations can sometimes be dusty? I think I'm going to save those for the end. And I'm just going to go through all of these things and show you. I'll start with this t-shirt. I got this t-shirt at the Dyer Dollarama and it says I'm on Santa's awesome list obviously and then there's this one. I'll be wearing these during my reviews even though it's almost the middle of the month and I still haven't you know we're, oh, Christmas is really soon and I haven't decorated my well it's kind of decorated <laughs> elf crow cute shirt this one says gray my favorite color working on my santa bod okay i was kind of deciding i always cut the sleeves off these t-shirts <laughs> this one i definitely have to cut the sleeves off kind of self-conscious about my armpit hair <laughs> no 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 just did being in videos with toys. I don't mind what it looks like. I think I'm lucky. Pot holders, these are the red ones. Um, I already bought these and hauled these because I have such that huge pot holder collection. They make such awesome mattresses for the beds, but I took out the red ones because they're good for Christmas. Uh, oh yeah, and I need to, I guess I need to put this stuff down here. These mats and rugs I've been weaving with some yarn that I got from the dollar store and it's only a dollar dollar twenty five is that the price they have on that yeah awesome and I found some red and green so I got a few bundles of that and then I started experimenting with different rugs and I like to mix in jute sometimes so the jute ones make more rugs and then the ones that are made just with the cotton look more like uh, blankets they can snuggle up with those weaving is weaving is fun okay there were these cards let's get that story out of the way with first I saw these I think they were Christmas tree cards and they were in bags just like this and I didn't buy them, I thought I bought them, and then, but I do go to the dollar store and say I can't get all this stuff, I would put some stuff back, I have to choose really carefully. They had such a nice like pattern, it was still on craft envelopes, but they had, I think, a Christmas tree, and I think they were little Christmas trees, and then I realized later that they would make such nice little miniature cards, and I couldn't find them, and I looked at every store, and I kept going to more, and there are so many do dollaramas. Why am I having such a hard time saying dollarama? I'm just so excited about dioramas from Dollaramas. I went to, they're everywhere. They're like, if you know Dwayne Reed in New York City, it's just like that there's one on every corner. There are some across the street from one another. They're everywhere, and there's so many of them, and you can go to 20 of them in on my bicycle in one day, and but not even by going very far. Anyway, I kept looking for these envelopes that I, or these paper bags with clothes pins, which I totally can use, and then these little miniature cards. Neither of these are as nice as the cards that I saw. I mean, this truck with the Christmas tree is pretty nice, but because the clothes pins come in handy, I'm going to use these as little greeting cards anyway. Maybe use the clothes pins to hold greeting cards on a string. And before I found these replacements for the ones that I really want, maybe I will still find them. There are still some dollar stores in the opposite direction that I haven't gone to. 
I got this sheet of stickers that I thought I would cut out craft paper into little squares and then put the little pictures on. Now there are so many Santa Clauses in here, but I would focus on all of the other things like the poinsettias and the mini Christmas trees and the candy cane and I'd probably just put one on each card. There's a wreath with Santa's face on it. Yeah, so many different cards I can make with that or enough to make little greeting cards. Everybody on Instagram is doing little greeting cards this year. I found this necklace and it is a flashing light necklace, but look at the little bulbs. They work so perfectly. I have one strung up back here right now, and you can change the way that they function. So you can have them flashing, flashing at different speeds, keep them straight on. I'm gonna keep it flashing like that. A nice little subtle Christmas decoration. Doesn't that look good? So you just hang it, and it's my colors, it's black, I mean, I noticed when I was doing all of this Christmas shopping that I was like kind of incorporating too many different colors because I do like to keep things all natural, like natural cotton and uh, natural wood. And I even made my natural wainscoting. I was gonna paint it white, but I think I'm gonna keep it like that natural woody color. And then I have white brick walls and stuff that I like to mix in. Here's more color that I brought in. I just thought these were so cute and pops of color and they would just look so good if you hung them up. And I only bought one bag, which is good. And $1.25, great price for those. This I found by itself. I don't know if there was a New Year's section up yet, or I guess there would be, but this I can use all year round, but it's also very Christmassy. So that's a flashing like New Year's stars on a black table. That would look really twinkly nice. Oh, let's get to this Christmas tree. I found the perfect Christmas tree after looking. It's a good size, a nice medium size. You could get these bigger, you get these smaller. This was a dollar twenty-five too. And I just made it a little taller by putting it on this pen holder for now. I don't know I need to do that. And then to put under the Christmas tree, I had these boxes. And these are something that I had gotten before, but I couldn't find them. And then I did find my other ones. I'm having a hard time locating all of this stuff because I have so much stuff. Here they are. They're awesome, they're cute. Uh, this is the card that I am going to use the craft paper to make cards out of. So I'm gonna cut these and then use the back side of it and hopefully recycle that to make some greeting cards. And then I have a few other of those in here that'll come in handy. But the boxes come out like this. Now I wanna tie a little red string on them. Maybe I'll use the thread, maybe I'll use some of the ribbons but they're nice big parcels and I can use them year round too and I can put them on the shelf as storage containers and I love craft again natural stuff look it matches so nicely with my decor fits nicely on some of the shelves and I can just stack them put them under the tree make them festive if I was giving somebody a gift I would love to get it you know brown paper parcels wrapped up in string totally my favorite things these stockings, I just thought they were so fluffy. You get them in just white and you get them in this. And then I found ones that had one white and one. And so I wanted to get all of them and I saw a huge white stocking like this, which I also wanted to get, but I decided, what do I need that for? And it was at the higher price point, $4. Things at the Dollarama go up to about $4. They start at one and go up to four. Well, you can get things for a four for a dollar sometimes too. But the mini one was totally good, and then I put slate in this, like kind of like a sleeping bag, and I put it on this bed, kind of like a, you can curl up in a rocking chair with this, with yourself, with your doll inside of it, and I thought that looked really cute. I did a picture like that on Instagram. Check out Slate in the City on Instagram, and Too Hunky on Instagram, where you can see pictures with many of these ideas implemented. Pot holders. These ones are red colored. I lost the tag, I split them open. They make such nice little rugs though. Like what an awesome rug to have during the holiday season. This package of little trims embellishment set. I don't know if I'll be using this this time, but they came in colors that I wouldn't necessarily use, but I kind of like if 
besides the natural, I like black and white and red. Red is the color that I don't mind incorporating into my household items. But I don't know where I'm going to use these, but I could definitely could definitely decorate for Christmas with this. Um, these could be belts with these little faux leather strapping. Uh, yeah, I guess I can just hang this stuff around, put it around the tree, the tassels. There's so many possibilities, so I definitely wanted to pick that up. Pot holders, just like these ones, I have so many of these. Um, 40, 50 maybe of those in different patterns. I thought I should get this one because it's so Canadiana. I don't like this side, but I just thought that this would make a really nice picture on Instagram for Slate laying on his Christmas Canadiana mattress. It would be nice. It's not the right dimensions to fit inside the beds that I have, but I could put it on the floor or just make a good picture on its own. These bags I thought I could stuff with cotton balls. This can just be Santa's sack or it can be a pillow on the bed. When I make these pillows, I do use similar bags like this, put in some cotton balls, fold it over, and you get yourself some really nice pillows. All of those were from the dollar store as well. I thought I could just make a giant Santa pillow. Maybe it's too big. Maybe it's just a sack. This I'm going to use as a blanket. It's already done. That looks really cute on the bed. Maybe it's a pillow. Maybe it's just something to hang on the wall. It can be so many different things. I love like postage stuff like this. Like what is it? What were those books back in the '90s? Griffin and Sabine. I love the like the books that you could open up and they're little envelopes and you take out letters and see little trinkets and stuff. I always thought that stuff was amazing. This kind of bag reminds me of stuff like that. Christmas decorations. Usually people who do these dioramas, the Christmas bulbs are way too big because even the mini ones that you find are too, but these ones are the perfect size. And I couldn't believe when I found them how perfect they were for dioramas. And I believe I got two bags of them because they were just so perfect, yeah. Now again, I'm adding way too much color. I would prefer just to have like a white tree, but if I'm finding something so fantastic like this, I mean, I have enough of them that I could just take out the silver or just take out the pink. That's another kind of video that I want to do for my big boy channel and for this channel is to say, when you are buying stuff for your home and your house, you kind of want to choose things that are all the same and never settle for something that's purposeful but not beautiful you want it to be both because that way you're going to junk up your house and it's so much better to have a nice looking home and you feel really comfortable in your home when everything you have is a piece of art and it's also functional so i think you should wait until you find the perfect piece okay then i have these things i'm totally going to have to do another video of setting up the christmas room and these are little letters and what I noticed was out of these I can spell slate from the letters so I can use them all year round I can put you know really cool big letters up on the shelves that spell slate but also I can spell I don't know I don't think I will use it to spell Joya Noel and uh, Christmas oh yeah it says Christmas yeah but really cool blocky letters I can spell all kinds of things out with these really nice font, natural wood, had to grab those up. More Christmas decorations. There was another one of these, I liked the drum better, but I thought it would be really cool to have the, the axes, swords, where you could stand at an entrance and have little nutcrackers. So I thought they would fit nice in the scale. They'd be like giant nutcrackers that you could put at your door entrances as decorations. Again, they come with paint. I'm not going to use the paint. However, the paints themselves can be used as little miniatures to put on the shelf, especially for Slate. Again, he's an artist, so he would have little paint caps like that. But I would definitely want to keep these. I'm not going to do the crafts. Maybe that little fur that comes inside. Maybe I would put the beards or on them. Probably would do that. Or, or maybe not. I don't know. These were a great find. Kind of kicking myself for not getting the drums. I, I think when I had the cards in my hand, I also had the ones with the drums, but I said, you have too much Christmas stuff already. Put that stuff down and leave the store. I don't remember 
really doing that. I thought I brought that stuff home. Maybe it's around here somewhere, but I, I, I think I did. Okay, these things, uh, little Christmas trees that, you know, bend the accordion. I forget what this stuff is called. I guess it probably says on it, even though, where are my glasses? Honeycomb, yes. Um, cocktail picks. Okay, I'm not going to use those. I'm going to cut off the sticks and then make the little um, puffy Christmas trees and put them around. They'll make such little great tiny trees decorations. I mean, you probably only need one or two. More little beads, uh, bells rather, that I thought I would make decorations with. These ones, I mean, they're not as these are bulbs. These are awesome bulbs, but these are the right size, and I thought I should pick up some. I love bells, too. Sound really cute, and they would be awesome decorations for the tree. These ones also sound really good, and I found those, and I thought they would look like really nice antique decorations for the tree. Actually, you can see I took some of them off to put in this uh, little uh, bowl, I guess you could say, platter, and then there are also these things, which, let me pull all those out. I found all these little things, and they could be Christmas tree decorations, or you could just have them around as little toys or ornaments. I guess they're just like little stickers. The stickers I don't think work very well, but there's angels, poinsettias, like I showed you, Christmas trees. I mean, I really only need one or two, or I could make Christmas tree decorations with them. And then there are little Santas or elves. And then there are snowmen. There were reindeer, but I didn't get the reindeer because I didn't think that they looked really weird. They didn't look like reindeer. And then here's something else that I found while I was looking for those Christmas tree envelopes that I really wanted to get and then I didn't get. But these little miniature envelopes, or bags, not envelopes, mini, mini paper bags, instead of like having to make ones from crap, like I always wanted to make shopping bags, I can use these as shopping bags. I'm not sure how the scale is gonna reflect, uh, but I, yeah, I think that they're probably gonna look like nice grocery bags by themselves. So I picked up some of them. So much easier than just making them and at only $1.25. Definitely worth the hassle than making little bags myself. Wow, so much stuff. Then I have these ribbons and such really nice prints I found on them. You can get some cheesier ones, and but these ones were my colors and my taste. So really subtle. I, what I thought I could do was put these up like streamers. You could put them around the tree to decorate with them. I could put them on the boxes to decorate the boxes. So many possibilities, just ribbons. And back in the turn of the century, they decorated a lot with ribbons. They threw them all around the place, drape, drape them like streamers everywhere, and look really nice. Speaking of things you can drape, I found these beads. I could drape those, put them on the tree. I thought these were really nice and really cheap for a lot of Christmas beads. And then these ones, you get strands of two different colors depending on if you want to go au naturel, like real ice crystals hanging down. Those will look so nice on a tree. Or And then there's silver ones, which look good too and they're gonna look so much better in pictures than I mean in real life they kind of look plasticky but they don't I mean when I choose something from the dollar store it's value for your money that's I see something it looks rich but it's not so I think that these look super rich look at them sparkle in the light they would look so expensive and like glass hanging on the walls maybe I can Oh, I guess they are kind of Christmassy. They look like ice. Some cotton twine. Again, wrapping up the parcels with string. They would look super Christmassy. I bought this. This was only a dollar. I, yeah, I love cotton natural things. So, I mean, even if I don't use that, I just, just looking at this, I said this before in some other string that I bought. I just want to look at the string and own it and it sparks joy. These might be out of scale, but they could make really good decorations. The lights actually have been working really good at the dollar store. And these are kind of nice. Maybe they're nice to put on my own decorations, but I don't think that they're too big. They could be just be oversized string of lights that could be hanging. 
How am I gonna decorate with all of this stuff? Oh, here's another one of these little gingerbread. These are probably the best ones because I could put these as little cookies and I could put them on pans and put them all over the place. You can put them on the tree. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the best one out of those. And then I found these Rudolph cards. I can do like eight Christmas rooms with all the stuff that I found. More cardboard that I can use to make cards out of. And then I just thought I could use these as art to hang on the wall. They're like the real Christmas pictures too. That is so cute. That could be such a nice poster on the wall. Look at these, cute, 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 oh man. Cute, so much cute, it's all the characters. Fun, fun, so much fun. Oh, the bag from that necklace. Wow, what's your favorite thing that I found? Are you all decorated for Christmas? I already lost my voice, I thought this was such a long video. I don't even think I have to edit it. Uh, oh, I didn't show you the Christmas trees. The messy, messy Christmas trees. All right, stay tuned to the end of the video to see the Christmas trees that I bought and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you like the most. Let me know if you're looking forward to seeing me decorate the Christmas rooms. Maybe it'll just be in pictures on Instagram, so be sure to follow Slate in the City, all one word on Instagram, or Too Hunky on Instagram. I love you guys. Again, trees will be at the end. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toy. Have you liked, comment, shared, and subscribed to my video? Have you checked out my big boy channel? You can go to it easy on the main page. You can click the link at the top corner of the page where you have links. Here are some other Christmas trees that I got, but they were making a lot of mess. So I like this one because it had the wooden stand and I haven't found a lot of wooden stand trees. Now this would just be like an outdoor decoration, I think. And it does have the snow on it, but it's the green stuff that gets all over everything. Yep, it's already fallen off. So I got two of those. The stand fell off one of these, but that's an easy glue gun fix up. So yeah, I thought these would look nice outdoors at an entrance, an outdoor scene as Christmas bushes. And then this one, when you're finding a Christmas tree, you have to be really careful that the scale of the branches are really shrunk down. And usually they're way too big. Even some of the best diorama makers on YouTube I see putting these real branches. They're like life-size branches. This one, these are small enough tiny branches that they actually look good. And, I mean, it helps that it came with this natural jute to draw my attention to it. And you can bend out the, fill out this tree a little better. It's got a little bit of a glaze on it, so I think that is what is shedding in this case. But that could make a really nice, antique, old-fashioned tree. I would take this off, off, of course, and then find a better skirt for it, or take off this huge cement stand, whatever's on there. This I got at Walmart though, this I, which cost $6, but when I found a tree that had the right scale branches, I definitely wanted to get that. See how nice that looks there? Wow. Even with this big pile of Christmas mess, it still looks nice in here. I'm gonna try to vacuum these off and see if that doesn't get all the dusty dust off of them.